What's up guys, my name is Chris, this is Sharp AF, and today we're going to be taking a look at BattleBox Mission 98. This is the Pro Plus box for April 2023, and we're going to skip right to the most exciting item of the month, or at least the one that's been getting the most buzz online. That's a cool new knife from Deadfish. But first, if you're thinking about signing up for BattleBox, don't forget I've got a 30% off refer a friend link down in the comments. Let's check this thing out. Take a look at that. Very nice. Whew. Oh man, this is pretty shiny. I might have to go put some pants on. <laughs> you don't need pants for a battle box video, do you? All right, so the reason this is called the Karitsuke Duo, um, and I don't think anybody else noticed that, is there's actually a second Karitsuke knife inside the handle. If you take that apart, just kidding. No, it's because this case right here actually doubles as a cutting board. Pretty freaking cool. So this is called the Deadfish German Karitsuke. A Karitsuke knife is actually a Japanese style knife and it's typically reserved for the head chef or the master chef. So for me to be holding this right now is kind of an abomination. You've got kind of a reverse tanto tip on there. That tip's going to be nice for precise cuts and precise little slices. This blade shape in general is going to be great for meats and veggies. It's going to be a really nice camp knife and it's cool that it comes with a cutting board and a case all in one. I believe this is just kind of an etched pattern on the blade. It's not advertised as Damascus or anything. Um, and then my buddy Christian Logan on Facebook was pointing out just how uh, detailed the handle is. And it is very, very nice. I feel like Deadfish has really stepped up their craftsmanship and their, their finish work. So it's an olive wood handle with a G10 bolster, and it's finished really, really well. I don't see really any gaps. And then there's some extra little detail work on the handle that makes it really nice. And check out how freaking sharp this thing is. I've already used it a couple times in my kitchen at home, um, but check this out. This is really flimsy paper, by the way. I gotta hand it to Deadfish though. I mean, they did a wonderful job with this, not just with the branding and the presentation as usual, but the craftsmanship on this one is really, really nice. I, I do gotta say though, I wish they told us what kind of steel it was. It just says German steel. And you know, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Just tell us what it is. Blade length, by the way, is about seven inches. Is this something that you would use primarily for camping or is this something you would want to have around in your kitchen at all times? The Deadfish Karitsuke in the Pro Box. The basic box has three items. First up is a Battle Box branded uh, leather wallet and money clip. There's some room for some cards and then a clip for your cash. I've kind of got a Seinfeld wallet going on right now, and I'm thinking, man, do I want to try and change my ways? Because my wallet right now is pretty freaking loaded. Not with cash, just with useless crap. <laughs> there you go. Next up in the basic box is the Revel Gear 30 foot USB camping light, the Trailhound. Let's see, so it's a 30 foot strand with 100 LEDs, dimmable slash motion LEDs. I didn't know it was dimmable. Just a little USB strand of lights, LEDs, powered by USB. Let me see if I've got a charger over here. Should we unstrand it? It says it weighs 1.6 ounces. All right, now it's plugged in. All right, what's that do? Oh, it blinks. It blinks slower. There we go, that's nice. Okay, how do I just go back to normal? Normal. Alexa. Revel gear, normal. Low power drain, waterproof, lightweight. So I'm just gonna have these blinking lights forever, I guess. Oh, that, there it goes. What did I do different? 
Moving on, the last item in the basic box is the OTS Osmotic Water Filters. This is a two pack. On one side, we have a desalination filter with a grape flavor. You can use it in fresh water as well, but you can also use this one in salt water. And this one is for fresh or brackish water. It's kind of like a freaking Capri Sun, man. Uh, it says, do not open until you're ready to use it. So I'm not going to open it because I do want to test this out. But it's interesting. You actually have to submerge it in the water and then just keep it there for four to six hours in fresh water or six to eight in salt water. And the way this works is through a process called forward osmosis, where the exterior of the pouch is kind of like a membrane. It says on here, the pore size of 0 0.0007 micron. It's kind of like a cellular membrane where water can flow in between, um, but it filters out the gunk, I guess. And the flavor on the inside and the sugars inside are actually necessary for that process. Something about having that sugar inside kind of pulls the water through the membrane, and then this pouch fills up. The cons of this is that it takes so long to work, and it's a one-time use thing. So it's interesting. I, I definitely want to try it out. Depending on the cost of these, though, it would be great to stock up on a bunch to throw in a boat as part of your emergency kit. And at least you get some extra uh, flavor and calories, um, some vitamins and stuff in there, too. So that is the basic box. The advanced box comes with everything in the basic box. And then also the Wooks axe brush and sharpening stone. The Wooks Fine Hand Brush is designed to help you clean and detail your rifle stocks and outdoor gear without scratching, damaging, or smudging your finish. It is great for quickly removing any dirt or dust on your axes and hatchets before cleaning and sharpening. This also might be a nice beard brush. Let's try that out. Oh yeah. Looks like I just got a new beard brush, guys. Hell yeah. All right, and then what we've got here is a sharpening stone, or a sharpening puck, rather. It's a dual grit uh, whetstone with a medium grit on this gray area and a fine grit on this side. Uh, I haven't tested this out yet. I'm really anxious to try it out and see how it works. I'll test it out on my Wooks uh, throwing axe. So far, I've seen a few people that have used it on Facebook, and they say it works really well. So that is the advanced box. Beard brush and sharpening puck duo. And the Pro Box, we already did the Pro Box. Let's take a look at the Pro Plus Box or Knife of the Month Club. It features the Razorback. You see what we're doing here? So this is going to be kind of like a folding box cutter. Comes with a nylon belt sheath with crooked branding. Unless that's just my eyes. Is that crooked? Hook your belt through there. It comes with some little uh, carrying cases for your replaceable blades. And what's cool about this one is that besides just having utility blades, there's several other blade shapes as well. We've got some gut hooks and drop points and drop points with serrations, a tonto, some utility blades. So let's see if we can figure out how this thing works here. So it's shaped like a folding knife with a really oversized thumb stud there. And this thumb stud is actually how you're going to remove the blade. So what you do is you push this thumb stud in and then down and that lifts up right there and it should release the blade like that. You can put a standard utility in there. Let's see, I do it right? There we go. Not going anywhere. Right on. Check that out. It's a frame lock with a deep carry pocket clip with kind of the skeletonized frame vibe going on here. It's kind of funky looking. It's kind of a cool concept. I know there's other things like this on the market. There's probably going to be some mixed opinions about this one, but it's cool that they took this concept and then included some additional blade shapes as well. I am curious to see how much these replaceable blades are. Replacing the blades is super easy. Let's try out the Tonto, see how the Tonto looks. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that one looks the best on there. 
really fills the shape a little bit better. Oof, how's the centering? <laughs> the centering's not very good. The handle, by the way, is about four and three quarter inches. Let's see if that strap cutter is sharp at all. Ah, there goes a blade. All right, that one's sharp. There we go. There you have it guys, Mission 98 of BattleBox. Let me know what your favorite item is in the comments. I'm definitely going with this guy right there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's it for me guys, thanks for watching.